Um, right now we want to talk about some new developments in the case of a dog that was left shot and for dead on the side of the road in Erie County. That dog named Dean, though, has officially been adopted and adopted by this man here on your screen, Erie Humane Officer Brian Carroll. Back in March, Dean was found freezing in a field in Northeast, suffering from a gunshot wound to the head and shoulder. That shooting left him blind in one eye and led to the amputation of his front leg. Officer Carroll helped nurse Dean back to health. His previous owners have since pleaded guilty to conspiracy to commit animal cruelty. They've been placed on probation and ordered to not own any other animals. We'll have more on this coming up on Erie News Now at 6. Some area students started their Friday on the hardwood today, working with members of the Cleveland Cavaliers basketball organization. Members of the Cavs Youth Sports Partnership came to the Erie Sports Center to hold a junior Cavs basketball clinic for boys and girls ages 7 through 16 from area schools. Now, it was a three hour program. They worked on skills, drills, and confidence. And this was the first time the Cavs clinic was taking place at the Sports Center, and the hope is to make it an annual event. All right, talk about basketball. The semifinal round of a big tournament is actually going to be starting in just over an hour. Last night was the Erie Pro-Am local basketball tournament. Eight teams with several local standouts vying for a spot in the semifinals tonight. This is the eighth year of this tournament. Ten of the 16 teams making the playoffs. Playing in the tournament includes, well, college athletes from around the region. Semifinals are starting at 7 o'clock tonight, also at 8 o'clock, so 7 and 8 o'clock at the ECAT building in East Erie. The championship is Monday at 7.30. All right, the 2023 preseason is already underway now with the Cleveland Browns rallying in the second half for a victory over the New York Jets last night, even after a game delay. So if you if you were watching last night on uh, this station, WICU, then you would have seen what happened. Erie Sports now was live in Canton, Ohio last night at the Pro Football Hall of Fame with all the action. And it was really one rookie that sparked the turnaround. At the end of the third quarter, though, there he is. The lights, they went out. The Jets were clinging to a 16 to 14 lead. But when the stadium lights all went back on, Dorian Thompson Robinson, a fifth round pick by the Browns in this year's draft out of UCLA, helped make it happen. He was behind a 78 yard touchdown drive to give the Browns a final score 21 to 16. All right, remember that QR code at the bottom of the screen here. It'll bring you to our website, erienewsnow.com, for all the news that we're covering this half hour.